So this is your last call. We're going to be looking at 801 Zer and Eververse just to show you guys what is leaving this week. I will be making a video about the new shader from Eververse. So don't worry about that. That should be coming out hopefully by tomorrow, which leaves people the weekend to pick up the shader because I do think the shader is really, really cool. But for this one, we're going to be looking at the shaders that 801 is selling. Basically everything that everyone is selling. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, um, Berguzi and Knight. All right, let's talk about Berguzi and Knight. I think Berguzi and Knight is a dope shader. Definitely super duper cool. Definitely pick it up because again, this shader was from Season of the Forge, which not only was quite a bit ago, but it's also from the shader from the last Forge, if I remember correctly, which means this shader should be rarer than the other shaders because Quite frankly, not only did you have to play the season, but you actually actually also had to progress the story long enough to actually get to the last forge. And then some other things you had to do because I don't I don't I I think this shader dropped with a weapon and then you had to destroy the weapon. I think that worked for all the all the shaders. But again, this should be just rarer than most. I, I assume at least I should say. Next one is Cairo's gold. I don't remember this one, even though I made. Yeah, it's the red and yellow one. I'm not the biggest fan of it just because of the yellow. I do think the red is such a good tint of red. I love it. It's just unfortunate that the yellow's in there. That being said, I would probably try to find a shader or not shader, but an armor combination that only has the red and black and then maybe some of the plate color, maybe, but that would be really annoying. And honestly, as much as I love that red, I just don't think I would ever do that. <clears throat> And then new monarchy succession which i actually really like the shader quite a bit i do think the other shader is the other shaders are way better that being said it's i think it's it's definitely not the worst because the worst is for sure the uh season of not season war mine uh the war mine shader is definitely the worst one because uh it's just orange and i don't like orange as a color this is this is good i would probably just switch out this red for the cloak because the cloak is a little too bright for my taste but everything this is definitely the Iron Man skin if you or the Iron Man shader if you want it. As for the armor set, it's going to be some of my favorite pieces for the Hunters and Titans, more so Titans than anything else. For the Hunters, I think everything but the cloak is really cool. I think for the Titans, everything but the mark is really, really cool. And then for Warlocks, I think you guys look like bums, unfortunately, and I'm not really the biggest fan of it, honestly. So unfortunately, I can't really recommend the Warlock sets. Aside from maybe the, the helmet, I think the helmet you can definitely use in some like electrical themed sets. But other than that, I'm not the biggest fan of it. As for Zur, he is in the hangar in the tower currently selling the Season of the Risen Armor set. You guys can check it out right here. If there's any piece I can try to sell you on, it would have to be the Titan's Mark. The Titan Mark, I think, is the best piece from all of it. I think it looks fucking amazing and is definitely my favorite piece from the whole sets. That being said, I do think the helmets are worth a pickup just because you can definitely do some really cool Oni themed sets with it. Um, more so the Hunters and Warlocks, less so the Titans. I think the Titans don't really give off the Oni vibe. That being said, I would still see an Oni look if I saw it. That makes no sense, I know, but I don't know. That's just how my heart feels. Uh, for everything else, uh, the, the Warlocks chest piece is super fucking cool. I really, really like it. I have made sets with it. Same thing for the arms for the Warlocks. And then everyone else just kind of has very mid pieces. I'm going to be real, except except the Titan arms. I think the Titan arms are really cool and very like Romany. So you can definitely do something cool, really cool with that. It's just that it shaders uh, really bad. Not badly. I shouldn't say that. It shaders fine. It's just that the, um, the forearm like covers, they shader differently, which kind of pisses me off, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of it. As for the weapons, we're going to be looking at Nature of the Beast with Snapshot Sights and Rangefinder, which <sighs> I like those combinations. I just don't know if I like I want to get Nature of Beast, if that makes any sense. Disparity, which is a red border weapon, so definitely pick it up. Eye of the Storm and Desperado. I would pick it up just in case they ever buff Desperado again, even though I still would use it because I still think Desperado is fine. Uh, Tears of Contrition, No Distractions and Focus Fury. This is also a red border weapon. Uh, Iota Draconis. Feeding Frenzy and Adagio. This one specifically has um, accelerated coils and charge time masterwork. So that's interesting on a high impact. If you are interested, we have seven Sarah of CQC 12 quick draw and Vorpal. I would not recommend this just because Vorpal on the shotgun doesn't really feel that good, especially since it's a lightweight. That being said, it's still one of my favorite shotguns and I would just pick it up for PVP because of the quick draw. 
but Vorpal is basically an empty perk, so I want to be transparent about that. Thread a needle with Rangefinder and Vorpal. Vorpal on a heavy is kind of useless considering it's only a 10% buff compared to the 15, I think it was, for the special. And I think it's a 20 for, for, um, or non-special and heavy. I forgot what they're called. Oh God, it's been a while. And then for Quick Fang, uh, you can literally pick up Quick Fang right now from the war table. So I don't know why you would want to pick this up. And for the exotics, Hot Moon with Moving Target and Dead Man's Tail with Snapshot Sights. And for the other exotics, it's going to be Black Talon with nothing because this is already a fixed exotic. That being said, I would still recommend this one because not only is it a Sorge, which means you get that that third person peeking but it's also a you can fire a projectile with it so i think it's really good for pvp and then for lucky pants are uh, some very mediocre rolls i'm not gonna lie to you synthoseps with probably one of the worst rolls i've ever seen 22 mobility on a titan is kind of terrible and then getaway artist with some interesting rolls i would definitely bump up the recovery to a plus 10 to have an 18 and then once a master you have a 20 there which yeah, I, I still kind of think about getting this. Um, I know we went through this pretty fast, but if you guys want to see my full um, like thoughts about all the weapons, because we do go over it quite a bit in the Zer video, you guys can check it out right here. Hopefully I remember to actually post the video because I haven't been doing that for quite a while. And then for, Z or not Zer, but for, for Eververse, we have some interesting stuff. So Tide Smoke, I think this shader is super dope. Definitely pick it up because it gives off this textured color and for armor like when you have it on armor or, yeah when you have it on like plate armor like right here it almost looks like barnacles and i definitely think it would be cool in like a deep sea uh look refined revels is the new shader from oh my god dude it's such a good shader i know it's just black and gold but we don't really have any black and gold specifically uh like a, for me it reminds me of gunmetal because gunmetal has this sheen to it but it doesn't have the gold so i definitely would recommend this shader just because it's really really good and it is the shader that is available for the armor set for the solstice armor set this is the shader that it already has on so if you are interested to combine it definitely pick up this shader it's one of the best again like i said i will be making a review for this hopefully it'll be up by tomorrow if not it'll be up uh before tuesday so that people that way people have time to actually get it we have Shocking Entrance, we have Gilded Honors, which is the Forerunner Ornament. I picked this up now just because uh, it changes the weapon models to such a way that I actually really appreciate it. So that's why I got it, because I was like, it changes the actual model of the weapon to so like to such a, to such a difference that I was like, I want to get it. And the DBZ Power Rising um, thing, if you want to get it, DBZ being Dragon Ball Z. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have a projection which is trash splendid video vidua which is for the um dude i love this gun it's like one of my favorite guns i keep forgetting with wither or there we go for wither horde and i definitely would pick this one up just because uh i don't think we have like wither horde has quite a bit of ornaments it has two actually now that i think about it it is getting another one but we don't have like bougie looking ornaments for wither horde so if you want to combine it that being said you're stuck with gold white and can't shader this shit so it's up to you we have argentate dusk which is kind of goofy looking i'm not gonna lie and then uh quadri quadri cycle which i'm still thinking about picking this up i don't need it considering i already have a small uh, sparrow but it never hurts to have another one 2500 is quite a bit that's a lot to ask for though a uh, goister which my clan leader got this and i hate it i absolutely hate it we have a uh, solar reference i don't care about and then paperwork and then for the other stuff it's going to be the shader <laughs> refined rebels again again this shader is really cool definitely pick it up i would oh my god this shader is so cool um oiled algae or algae whatever i like the shader quite a bit definitely pick it up again i will always tell you pick up shaders because you might never know when you like go through your shaders and look at this armor and be like, oh, this looks this looks like it goes kind of hard though, you know, kind of that situation. Pomegranate gloss. Ooh, see, this is what I mean when I say pick up a shader, because you might never know 
when you put it on an armor set and you get the colors that you actually want pomegranate gloss has a yellow in there and i'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it you can see it a little bit right here but this actually has none of that and actually looks fucking cool with it so much so that i might i might i might switch out my armor set a little bit to like you know what we'll probably do that after the video um and then tangerine gloss which is yeah it's not the best it's, it's the orange i don't like i don't like a lot of this it just kind of looks uh very gaudy to me so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up like i said there's a few things that i would definitely pick up again the solstice shader i would definitely pick up because it is really really good but let me do this real quick before i forget because after i i'm done doing this video I'll probably i will forget um so yeah this shader looks really really cool i decided to switch out the cloak because i actually like the butt cloth right here and i was deciding to combine it with this um with this uh cloak because i love the fact that it has the lines as well so it kind of matches a little bit um i probably just switch out the arms for something a little bit and yeah, let me do that real quick i probably want to do something like no that yellow that orange is coming out uh i don't mind that but at the same time i want something that has a little bit of armor because um the boots have some armor so that i don't want to just not have that all right so that's pretty much it i don't hate this i apologize for that i don't know what they're doing uh, either way i like this quite a bit this i'm gonna keep it like this for a while i just want to see how i feel about it and then at the end of the day if i don't like it i'll just return to the look that i had before even though i i like the look even then so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later Bye.